I am always unhappy when I see that people are still using untreated water here in Lake Ilego because I know the result of or the diseases that we can get when we use untreated water. Guys, in this video, I want to share with you the cost of doing water treatment plan here in Lake Lagos. I'm talking about reverse osmosis, all right? A lot of people are still spending a lot of money in this hard economy buying water when they can actually get drinkable water in the comfort of their house with just reverse osmosis, all right? So please stick around, watch this video today because I'm going to be exposing and revealing everything that you need to know. Again, I am not going to talk more because we have engineer Joseph, who is the number one water treatment specialist here in Lake Lagos. So please, if you are coming across our channel for the first time, kindly encourage us by hitting the subscription button straight away so that you always be notified next time when we post content like this. Without further ado, guys, let's jump straight and have a chat with Engineer Joseph. Let's go. So, guys, join me make welcome Engineer Joseph. Hi, Engineer Joseph. Hi. My name is Engineer Joseph Indifon. I'm a water treatment specialist. I'm a swimming pool builder. I'm highly experienced in both industrial and domestic plumbing. I install the best and repair the rest. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin, for giving me the opportunity once again welcome, Mr. Joseph. to feature in your platform. Um, Today, we are going to talk about the three-ton reverse osmosis water treatment system. In three-ton, what I mean by three-ton, okay. it means it's, it's um, 12 membrane reverse osmosis system. Okay, sorry, before we jump straight to that, like, what is the least membrane? How many membrane? I start from the least upward. Okay, you can do from two membrane. Two membrane, okay. You can do four membrane. Okay, you four. You can do eight. You can do 10, you can do 12. Today now, what we have here today is a 12 membrane reverse osmosis system that I'm going to show you how the installation is work and how the process is. Okay, so when you say 12 membrane and uh, 3 ton, what do you mean, sir? Okay, 12 membrane, 3 ton means that this water treatment system can produce 3,000 liters per hour. The minimum production of this is 3,000 liters per hour. Okay, now engineer, very briefly, let's say you have a mini house. I can see that this house is a very big house indeed. Our viewer want to actually know the cost implication but before we go to the cost implication is it compulsory to have this kind of water treatment can't we do something smaller or without the reverse osmosis before you set up a water treatment what any water treatment plan first of all you need to analyze the raw water from the boho yes you need to analyze it so when you analyze it you will now know the kind of treatment you are, give, you are going to give water there, there are different sizes of water treatment uh, reverse osmosis you can do two membrane depending on the uh, capacity of the consumption you can do two membrane you can do four membrane you can do six eight ten okay so uh, sorry engineer what you are saying is that it is not compulsory to use reverse osmosis not that it's not compulsory first of all your the analysis your raw water analysis will tell you whether you need a reverse osmosis or not okay let's jump straight and have a, a careful look at this what and what do we need if we are to do a 12 membrane water system here in lake lagos okay what you need first first is space okay. you can see that this one take a lot of space and because of the capacity of the cons uh, consumption it's a very big building so you need space one then two you need to get the right materials you can see that we have a 16 inches um frp two 16 inches frp and you can see the space that um the 10 the 12 membrane reverse osmosis is, is taking you see that you have to prepare your base you have to prepare your concrete base and you have to need uh, you need these tanks you can see we have three big tanks here apart from the overhead tank so all this need to be in place before you can okay let's go ahead for the purchase thank you very much before we jump into the cost analysis I know you are familiar with Chevron or Niru, all those side Ikate. Why is it that even though some people have done their water treatment, but the water system they still keep filling and they do not have uh, good water? What is the problem there? Okay, first of all, as I said before, before you start a water treatment plant setup, yes, you first of all do the analysis of your raw water. Okay, by the time you know the chemistry of the raw water, you'll be able to know the kind of treatment you give. You will be able to know the kind of chemical you are going to use. But but why? a lot of water treatment plants has failed some people some people spend a lot of money and at the end of the day they cannot get good results is because maybe they are choosing the wrong uh, sequence for another place because some people think if they do, the same sequence you i do in the other place can work here no it's not like that if you do, and do your analysis you'll be able to know the kind of water treatment you give so that you know the kind of material you are going to buy maybe the operation system may be the same but the chemical you need to use are, are not the same because it depends on the product of the raw water all right. So a, a lot of them has failed because the approach the approach is wrong. 
All right. So if uh, people have, for example, water treatment plant or that have failed, can you fix it? Yes, we can fix it. That is why if you, I told you that I install the best and repair the rest. So any water treatment that has been existing that has failed, we will be able to fix it. I will be able to fix it and make your water portable, drinkable. So engineer, let's jump straight because I know most of our viewers actually, they want to know uh, the cost. So let's go straight to the cost analysis. But then, what is the minimum amount you think one can get? Some people don't even have water treatment at all. What is the minimum amount that you think we can set up a small water treatment plant without reverse osmosis? Okay, if by the time you do your analysis and the place does not require reverse osmosis, you can use a minimum amount you can use to set that is going to be only the primary treatment. Yes, primary the, treatment. Yeah, the minimum amount you can use is from 1.7 million now. Uh, 1.7 million naira. Are you talking about the cost of drilling a bohole, pumping machine, tanks, and everything? Or no, no, uh, not uh, just the water treatment. Why is because just like this one now, you know, you, you, uh, if supposing we are not using uh, reverse osmosis here, you can see that we have 16 inches um, FRP cylinder, and we have chemical, we have pumps, other pumps that runs. You have the tanks. The, you know all these things are expensive now. So by the time you calculate all these things, you see that okay, you are running about 1.7 million naira to okay. set up this kind of water treatment, but without reverse osmosis. Okay, engineer, I know some people will be watching are probably saying this is expensive because I have also seen other people saying you can treat water below one million naira. What do you have to say about that? Okay, just like I said, when you do the analysis, different chemicals with different prices. So if you um, um, if you do the analysis and your water is not very bad. Now, another thing is the size of the water treatment. Because this is 16, uh, 16 inches FRP. You can use, if you are using 10 inches FRP, you know the price will be di different. All right, so what you are saying is that uh, you can actually do something less than 1 million. Yes, you can do something less than 1 million, but it's going to be for a very small capacity, maybe just for just one family. Okay, engineer, just before we go into the cost of this uh, 3 ton or 12 membrane water system that you have, Please, can you take us around and show us the sequence of operation, how this water system works? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. This is the borehole. This is the borehole. So water come from the borehole and enter this tank. This is a sedimentation tank. So the water enters here. And from here, the water will now pass through. The pump will pump it across these cylinders. These cylinders. These cylinders. This is um, uh, 16 inches. FRP cylinder, the chemical inside that takes responsibility of the, the first uh, primary treatment. So it pass through this cylinder and pass through here and then enter this tank here. So this is the primary treatment, which is the first stage of the treatment. After this primary treatment, the water enters into this tank. So as you asked me before, some people that may not um, have a budget for reverse osmosis, uh, this is the stage they stop. So that water is heavily treated. But in this case here now, after this primary treatment, the water still passed through this reverse osmosis treatment, which will give you a very clean, colorless, tasteless, and odorless water, which is okay for uh, domestic consumption. It is physically clear. You can take it to the lab and it will give you good results. All right, engineer, thank you very much. Uh, I know some of my viewers are saying already, Benjamin, we are not the engineer. We are not even interested in this. Can you just tell us the cost? So, sir, how much exactly do we need to have such a 3-ton, 12-membrane, reverse osmosis water treatment plant? Okay, I uh, will use this one as a practical example. Yes. Yes. For you to install, because this is a standard installation that we did here with good material, good quality material, this one costs 5.5 million Naira. So 5.5 million Naira can get this water treated? Yes. All right. So what you are saying is that after spending such amount of money, you know, money no easy to make. Are you saying that this water can be drinkable? Yes, this water is drinkable. This water can pass a, a microbiological test if you take it to the lab. It's as good as bottled water, a good bottled water that you buy from outside just what is the difference is just the label okay but because this is exactly what you will do if you want to set up a, um, a water a water manufacturing company all right so are you saying are you the one who did how do you manage to arrive and say that people can drink this water okay normally when we do finish our installation we invite external body okay a registered external water analysis company to come and take a sample then after they finish, they will send a result and copy the and copy the client. 
as well okay so has that been done here yes it has been done and the and the client was satisfied and everything is fine this water is good it's drinkable 100 percent. all right so can we see sample of the water just before the treatment and after the treatment okay all right so let's have a view of it all right yeah. man are you saying that this was the water condition before the treatment yes this is the water condition before the treatment this is the water that comes from the borehole you can see that color is very dirty you cannot use it to do anything so after the treatment this is the clean water wow this is the treatment this is the before and after treatment so, you can see the difference yes the difference is clear so engineer what you are telling us now is that this one that you treated is it drinkable yes this water is drinkable can you prove and, it and now I, for people to see and i can drink it now i don't want hey, wait, wait wait i don't want I, somebody to die are you sure no no, no no it's drinkable are you sure yes okay it's guys my eyes are not here i'm not here please let's see oh my goodness oh my goodness okay that's okay so engineer a lot of people are still wasting money buying pure water buying bottled water when they can actually do this in the comfort of their house what would be your final advice because in fact i'm super shocked to see that people can treat and drink their water in their houses yes my advice to the viewer is that if by the time you combine all the money you used to buy bottled water all the time and you are still using dirty water for to wash mm, to, like to, 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 to use in your kitchen to wash your dishes why not add all this money together get a standard water treatment plan in your own house and then that is drinkable we have some other clients that we have installed for them and for the past four or five years they have been drinking their own water from their own house they don't buy bottled water anymore and they are enjoying it all right all right all right engineer thank you very much for taking time to share i hope say this is whatever you drink no I like no, no 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 there's no issue there's no issue this is this is perfect this is all right water. Engineer, i appreciate it. thank you very much i believe our thank viewers you. are super excited thank you very thank much you once again thank you for taking time to share your knowledge with us thank, thank you. you thank you thank you all right